Which guys is Devil's Green Guy here, and welcome back to Geometry Dash, and today I'm going to be showing you how I make my layouts. You all see my layouts on YouTube, maybe you want to make them too. Um, pretty much, I'm using the song Fire Aura here. There. So what I normally do is, oftentimes I put orbs in, in normal parts, straight fly a lot. Well, anyways, we'll do it. For beginning parts, it's normally a simple negative speed. As you will see, you know, a lot of my levels are pretty simple. Um, okay, so like that. And of course, uh, normally I use this. A while ago, I used the original blocks. Something, you know, it, it was pretty simple. I often go for like simple designs, nothing too insane for layouts, because, you know, first of all, you guys have seen when I try to decorate. It doesn't turn out very well. Also, I want a bit of feedback. I don't know how to, I don't know what to record, so this is kind of just like me going on a fallback option. So, and then normally if there's, um, I'm often too lazy to put uh, new, to get rid of old things, so I just put a portal. That's kind of what I do. But it, as you can see, sometimes I go for like a stupid design, such as a, uh, you know. That. So, usually it starts off with a, a yellow jump pad here. And then it goes just a. Uh, some orbs here. What goes through my mind is is try your best to make it sync, but don't make the gameplay so fucking annoying to where no one wants to play it. Unless you're making an extreme demon, in which case everyone will play it either way. Uh, I used to, like, not care about, uh, death things, but I, nowadays, I put, like, I put them in. Um, other examples of my layouts, um, things you guys haven't seen yet is Ultimate Circles. You guys haven't seen Rock and Roll, I don't think, which is one of my older layouts. It is the Skrillex song. Unnamed layout, uh, that's, it's the Project Blast thing. This is the song, um... Honestly, I have them. Wait, there. What the fuck? What happened to the music here? I don't know. Okay, whatever. And normally, because I hate the, I hate that effect, I do that. I also make the this a bit darker because you know my colors are blue. Normally, if it's like you fall, I put a red jump orb to. Uh, I don't know. So you'll be falling down here. <laughs> And I think now would be like one of those times 
that I would put like a ship part with really tight gameplay. And see what goes through my mind here now. Put an orb here. Maybe a slope. Sometimes I go with the, uh, you know, the galactic fragility thing. Where it's like you hit this and then you go back down. But I don't. That's only sometimes. Often I do that in my nine circle goals for some reason. I make the game. I make the gameplay first, then worry about um, death. Uh, other like other tight corridors, such as saw blades and sp other spikes. So here, in which cases I would put probably like a saw blade here, here, there, and put a thing. Some things here so that you can't just hold it to go up, to go. Another thing is um, I've recently figured out how to check the lines. So this is, these are the lines for the level right now. There we go. As you all know, I normally use a no clip. That wasn't supposed to happen. Dun. So, you know, normally I use a no clip, and I'm actually going to open my no clip. Not sponsored. Uh, my no clip is MG Hosts no clip. And normally I take, I check if it's possible in normal mode. Then I go through and practice. Which is normally. It normally is pretty good. Uh, Uber Garasu was the layout that was really difficult, and I'd say that one was pretty much a success because I was doing it the same way. Pull it down. Normally that's what I do. I'll put, uh, you'll normally have to hold it down and then let and then. You'll be on your way to making Gucci Gang. Fuck you. Okay. Uh, I normally don't do this. The only times I do this kind of straight fly is in Extreme Demons, and because I really don't think that it's a fair straight fly. Um, if it's a Memory Demon, I'll use these in like straight flying parts to signify that you go down. Uh, but you know, in ex in actual Extreme Demons, what will happen? It's pretty much, it's going to be like this with the ones that like go in with it, so like that. And then there will be fake ones, like right here, but it's going to look the same. And it'll just fade out, and then you go up. Pretty much how that works. Depending on the style you're going for, uh, it, what the fuck is this hanging for? How's it going, dude? What a fucking... What the fuck are you doing there? Yeah. Yeah. Fuck. I just hit my mic. Sorry. Okay. Uh, I normally don't do this anymore, though. Uh, for... Now, um, I normally do this. Like, put orbs, put upside-down portals. I often... Actually, recently I've taken a liking to doing, uh, this. Putting this. And then putting more orbs in that manner. I picked up on this during my running in the 90s layout. Unnamed layout. Go back. Hang on a second, guys.
I'm sorry about that, guys. Um, back to the way out. Um, did it stop recording? No, it did not. It is running pretty smoothly. Another thing I normally do is I'll put an orb, and you hold down and go into that. Another thing I'll do is put, like, this. And then I'd, prob I'd probably get rid of that effect in there. There you go, there's that. Um, so, normally in parts like this, it's just um, more memory, pretty much. Oftentimes, oftentimes my, my more member, the memory sections of my levels are ball parts. Um, normally I try to put, uh, slanted gameplay because, you know, it's pretty good then. Uh, when I go for this, if you were to jump, you will make it up there. But maybe, um, for my, my coins are honestly very interesting. How, how I work my coins are very interesting. Uh, especially in my recent plan, as you saw, I was doing like an epic spider part um, for Cinema, the Skrillex song. Speaking of which, I haven't seen if that got a copyright claim yet. I'm expecting it to sometime soon. Sometimes I'll put these here, sometimes I'll put this here, or here. Then, you know, so I guess now would be the time to put another one of these here. <clears throat> I genuinely do have fun when I make layouts, though. I don't make them just for the views. So, this is normally what I do, make it really synced, um, I'll normally just put, uh, spikes down, or oftentimes I actually do this, you can, from the cinema layout, it's, I guess, kind of nine circle I do this, just do that. Then by now we would go into a UFO section, but uh, first of all it would go into here, and then go down to the bottom again. Okay. I'll also talk about my dual gameplays, how I make them, and other things like that. Speaking of which, I haven't put a good duel in cinema. I need to do that. Let's do that. That's that key. Normally when I go into UFO sections, it'll like, it definitely changes between uh, mini often. Actually, I think I'll do that. 
oftentimes, uh, like in Project Blast, uh, one of the things that's very common is UFO sync with the, the orbs. Probably do something like this here. Bring this here, bring that here, like that. Bam. Actually, that'll hit it. I'm very, I have a very keen eye, especially for these kinds of things. That was not supposed to happen. There you go. Oh, that. Now, some might say this is a bad transition, and to do, to fix it, I'll probably put, like, one of these here, or some of these, you know, to make it better. Uh, I would normally make these probably at a very small size, and just have a, a bit of a rotate, and so you can still see. Because you need to be able to see yourself in this. Oftentimes, uh, you wave parts are spam or actually decent parts. Most of the time, they're spam. I'm actually very bad at making people. <laughs> Pretty sure everyone knew that. Here's that. Wave gameplay doesn't really fit in with anything much. Uh, more of this, more or less, what it really is is I don't use it too often unless it's like a really spammy music part, such as that, such as that parts like that where the music's really freaking intense and it's just like, yeah. Then sometimes I go back to test the gameplay. There you go. Uh, for this, normally, I do kind of like uh, Dorami's Finger Dash V3 effect. Which is, for like, small cube, which is just a... Uh, Pretty much how Finger Dash is. You, you should know what uh, Udurami is and things like that. Um, anyways, continuing on. I have a very high IQ, as you can see. Another thing is sometimes there will be a bit of an auto part just to give you a bit of a break. Hello. And then, of course, the classic, uh, I don't know what to call this, but, uh, that. I often do that a lot with, especially my memory parts. And, uh, pro um, and in Project Blast, there's also one. This is about the time where I'd put a ball section, or possibly even a spider section. Now here comes where I say that my ball parts are really memory based. Not really skill based in the slightest. Well I mean still, yeah, you do need to have timings for some of it. I'll make it like so that there's going to be like, you can... 
I put 3D things here to trick people into thinking that it's a solid, but if you have high detail on, it actually doesn't work. Or, if you don't have low detail on, it doesn't work. Because, as you can see, if you pay close attention, you will see that there is, and that for the ones that are real, the ones that are real have a glow around them. So, you might be thinking, where am I going with this? So, it's now going to lead you into this part is going to be the wrong way you go. So it's going to look good. We're going to have this. But then we're going to put... So we're going to have this. Also, We'll also make it like this, pretty much. Um, one of the dead giveaways, I guess, would be there. Huh? Whatever. It doesn't really matter. It's not like people are going to get fooled by this pretty fast. Anyway, people are... Um, actually, we'll make it so that uh, that's a 3D thing. So, it once again, looks like... It looks real. Then by now, I will put an alpha trigger for... 999. Fade time, make it the invisible. Then, when I turn my no clip off here, they'll try to go through there, and it kills them. So, the real way. Will be like that. We'll also make these 3D. First of all, to make it look better, and second of all, for it to be more I don't know, look better too. Hey, sometimes you can care for what your layout looks like. Another thing I love to do is, I guess, the ice carbon Diablo. I'm gonna give someone PTSD by saying that. <laughs> yeah. um, which is pretty much going into small ball and just having to click very rapidly, but then again, you have to have a very good time. Sense of time. You have to have a very good rhythm. You must play the drums in order to understand. Now, another thing that's good about this is if you just were to click immediately, you'll get killed. Apparently, you'll get killed either way. Yeah, uh, so... After, you know, the tests... To make sure that it is a good, it is good, and people can get through it. I'll do that. I'll continue on with the gameplay. So what I mean by Kai Ice Carbon Diablo is this, pretty much, except it doesn't have the speed portals because that would not really fit in with the sync. Uh, another thing is that. There you go. Then you put the sun blade here. And then there's probably going to be like a red jump pad there. Fuck on. Okay. Sometimes you need to nerf it for your for your sanity's sake. So like a bunch of my levels um, were originally really a lot harder. I nerfed Yatagarsu just a tad bit because uh, I'm trusted. No, I'm not trusted. Did I say Yatagarsu? So I'm forgetting. After getting that, it possibly switches into. Or, or, 
a this. Now my spider sections are often really well made, actually. The worst game ma game mode I'm 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 at the worst game mode I'm at making. I can't make a good UFO game part, pretty much. But that's the funny thing. It's also my best game. So, normal spider gameplay, such as, you know, the classic effects, such as this. My spider sections are also decently memory, too. Decent memorization. Hello. Hello! Oftentimes I'll do this thing, this thing. Now the thing is, if you weren't to do that, it might be possible to make it... I don't know. So, you need to make it music synced here, pretty much. Done. So, there. Geez, I'm just as useful as frickin' Mr. Paladin's house spy things. Three! Sometimes there'll be a bit of a uh, jump hat here, such as a small one. Such, uh, like that. Which really does it. I really do like the spider game mode, and I am excited for the things I'll be able to do with the 2.2 editor, which, you know. Because you can make like super asymmetrical tools. Here comes the drop heart. Normally gonna be something like quadruple speed. Um, I guess what I'll do here is show off the duels. Um, honestly, the duels can range from anything pretty much. But um, at this is point, this is the point where I would turn on my notebook back on and do it. See how it works. Shoot. Sure, sometimes it isn't made very well. And you do need to have pretty good reflexes. There we go. This kind of reminds me of the 1.9 level right now, the gameplay. Yeah, I guess you can see that my gameplay is often very centered. You can see my gameplay is very centered around, um, really just the memory part, I guess, huh? Um, da -dum -da 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 -da. Can you, like, not do that, please? That's not nice. <laughs> I have some amazing friends. By the way, guys, um, should I do an MVM with friends? Uh, TF2, of course. Is 
another one of these. Of course, it will be kind of hard for me to get all my friends at some point to go and head and, like, do an entire match. Because, you know, some of my friends... Uh, oh, again, um, something... Shut the fuck up, that thing was... Whatever. Um, but, uh, pretty much... My... My Discord servers keep getting fucking hacked. Uh, normally this is where I'd put these, these things. And here comes, you know all know about my jitter, my speed jitters. I love my speed jitters. For some reason. So, I'll put this here to make sure that they don't fall off. Now, one of the things that is going to happen is I'm going to have to get rid of those two, just to make sure that you don't die. Because, once again, a lot of my gameplay doesn't work for 144 hertz. I know this because I actually do use um, a lot of my friends in oh, Geometry Dash by those two. Uh, that I use the refresh rate hack, but right now I'm not doing it because um, make sure that it doesn't lag too bad and the videos will bother. So I guess what I would do here is move it over a bit. Now here is where I would put my duels. So it would be like this. Now what goes through my head is... Can I do this? And is it fun? So normally what I'll do is just different orbs at first. Such as that. So, this will happen. Put a little bit of a thing here. That here kind of. Then put this stuff here. Spikes. So, you know, you'll jump here. And you'll probably hit... You'll probably hit the... This form, making it a bit. Never mind. So you'll hit this. Do that. You hit it. You go over here. Land on this, or land on several of this. No. Get on this thing. By this point, this guy will have reached this. You, he is not going to jump, jump, jump. He's not going to jump, jump, jump. Yes. All right. We also need to see if this is actually a thing that's going to happen. I swear, I must be super skilled in order to do that. Okay. No. So, in cases like this. I'll just do this and put an H block. I don't know. So it seems as this, as though this will happen. So it'll break it. Um, oftentimes my duels are pretty buggy. So you'll. You may, you'll need to jump there, and you also need to jump there. Why the fuck is it doing that? That's my question. Whatever. So, you know, it'll be this. Go over here. 
and it'll actually still continue to do this because I'm I want to do a wave gameplay, make it upside down. Now you can hear a bit of a spam spam kind of part in here, so I'm gonna put a bit of a spam part here for it for the wave here. Uh, in order to stop the horrible fucking transitions of my levels, I'll put uh, something to catch it, such as, you know, D-blocks for waves. So, here you go. I think what happened there actually was that, um, am I still recording? Yes. Okay. Oh yeah, so it hits this, so I'm going to have to put these here as a fault. So it still seems to hit, it still seems to hit it, so I might actually have to get rid of them. Uh, oh, the upside down is making it go normal, so if I were to put something such as, uh, this, so make it such as this is here. Yeah, I still am not an expert on this by any, any means, I'm just trying to get people started on some of their gameplay. Like, maybe some of my fans want to get into this, I don't know. I don't fucking know. Hello? Oh, shit. So if we were to put that there, will it affect anything in the game? No. Okay. And if I were to put it in this mode, will it... Okay, it doesn't have much of a difference there. So, yeah. There you go. So... And then when it hits here, it's going to go into ship. Okay, there you go. It's going to do that. Go here. We'll actually just do that, so that when it hits there, it'll do that. Actually, I'm not very good with duels. So, put, a, put this here. Put, um, put something like this here. We'll also put this here just to make sure that you do know what you have to do that. Probably put something like a bit of this here. A uh, bit of a wide space because I don't want it to be too hard. This isn't supposed to be a meaty. This isn't supposed to be anything extreme here. Anyway. <laughs> really, you'd actually be letting go there. So, um, physics often state that this. Wait, what? I'm probably going to do that. 
make it a little less hard. Especially because I'm trying to make sure this is possible. Um, but I would say that this gameplay is pretty good. This does need a bit of practice to do. But if I were to go into practice, song is not owned by me. Oh, that's perfect. So you'll go over there. So, you know. I need to fucking hit that, thank you very much. We'll make this into balls. Into ball, balls. But a good example of my duels are definitely in the rock and roll out here, which is, ignore this part, over here, yes. This is a series of duels that I am very proud of. Uh, let's see. Song isn't anything. For some reason, that's a glitch, by the way. I don't understand why that happens, but here's a good example of good duels. Oh, shit. Um, yeah, normally what I do with duels of uh, spiders and UFOs, I normally put spiders and UFOs together. Okay, this, I was trying to fix that duel for uh, 144 hertz, and it, it's not, it doesn't work. So anyways, what happens here is, of course, UFO click, uh, you'll go down from up here, here, down to here, down up to here. The UFO will, when, you, when the spider hits here, you click, and the UFO will also jump over here. Now, when you go over here, the top ball is going to bounce off of the bottom one and goes up, And then the other one clicks in the middle of that, and it bounces back down or something. I don't honestly know. Okay. Now another one would definitely be... Another good example of one is the... This part. There you go. Uh, this is an old layout... Uh, I've never posted it on YouTube because it's a hard layout. I actually can barely do it. And plus, the song is pretty copyrighted. Yes, I know I uploaded freaking cinema by Skrillex. Okay, you know what? That wasn't pretty smart of me. But anyways, that's that. That's some good examples of a, of a role of that. Uh, Project Magic, such as, you know, I didn't put too much... Of course, I put a lot of effort into this level um, with the that song, of course. All the way over to here with different uh, styles and stuff. Timings and things. But, um, the real. I didn't really put too much effort into laser. into the parts of the laser clips. No one saw this in the, in the level, but, um, I put. This is what I put for Hard Robot. Because, I honestly, I don't know any creator that does that, and Red Robot's just a TF2 YouTuber. Of course. And then Ryan and Serpunge, of course. Blah, 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 blah. Well, anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. That's pretty much how I do my style. Um, if you do want to, if you want me to continue this, then definitely tell me in the comment section below. In, tell me in the comment section below. If it does, then I'll make a part two to this. Just to see if you guys want to continue to know how to make uh, how I make my layouts. Who knows? Maybe I'll start streaming or something. How I make my layouts, or or just like put in me making my layouts and just stream while I make my layouts. Like cinema, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I'm very proud of of that layout because it it takes a lot of effort. Honestly, it it took. <laughs> just to get where I am right now in it. 
I guess I could I could show you a bit of a teaser if you've made it to the end of the video here. Uh, okay, I can go ahead and do that. Um, here you go. Of course, sorry. If you made it to the end of the video, then congrat. If you made it to this part of the video, then congratulations. I'll start from the drop. I don't own this song. I stopped here. Uh, I fucked that up. But anyways, as you can see, it goes there. Go through there, like that. And then, um, this is a reference to that layout, the, uh, rock and roll layout. Because it's, it's like, I tried to go with that design. Um, I'm still not done with this. This layout is going to take a lot of effort because it's going to be uh, my probably my actually how long is this? How long is Cinema by Skrillex? I'm gonna look that up after the video. Maybe I'll edit in enough or number if I find out. Yep, there you go. Well, hope y'all enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like down below. And you know, check out my levels. My name is Rain by Nine and Geology Dash. My name is Luigiator666. And if you enjoyed, leave a like down below. Subscribe to see some more awesome content. See you in the next one. Peace out.